everyone, it's Miss Vasquez for Capstone, and today we get to start a brand new book. I'm so excited. Now, before we begin, I need to tell you what you're doing. When we're reading, you will be able to retell a story. Now, when we retell a story, we say what happens in the beginning, what happens in the middle, and what happens in the end. We make sure to talk about the important characters and talk about any problems and the solution in the story. Now, before we begin, Let's remember how we do a retell. Now, we're going to remember by looking through some of the pages in Jack and the Beanstalk by Richard Walker. Now, here is Jack. Now, I know that at the beginning of the story, we learn that Jack's family doesn't have a lot of money. They live in a small house, and Mom seeks out Jack to collect some food. Now, Jack meets this man over here, and the man says, I have some magic beans. So in the beginning of the story, Jack trades his cow for some magic beans. But then when he goes home, Mom isn't happy. She's like, you got rid of our cow. You don't have any food. You didn't bring back anything good. So she throws the magic beans out the window. That's everything that happens in the beginning of our text. Now, in the middle of our text, let's keep going, we see that the beans are growing. They are? Yeah, the beans are growing. They grow so big that Jack can climb up the beanstalk. And in the beginning, or I'm silly, in the middle of our text, Jack goes into that giant's home. It's like he's in there, he's hiding. Now, in the middle, or there I go again, at the end of the story, Jack decides to go back down the beanstalk. Think about everything that he saw. And he goes back up and he takes all the stuff that he thinks might be worth a lot of money. So at the end, he faces the giant. And the giant's a big deal because he's really scary and he has people kept up there in his castle. So at the end of the story, he faces the giant. He's able to take all those things from him. And then the giant can't come back down the beanstalk. Now, that's what happened in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end. We talked about the problem. Jack's family, they didn't have a lot of money. They didn't have food. So Jack's mom wanted him to come home with something worth a lot of money or something that he could eat. In the middle, he goes up the beanstalk. He discovers that the giant has all these amazing things, but he's afraid of the giant. At the end, he decides, I'm not going to be afraid. I'm going to go back up and I'm going to take all those things from the giant and they're not going to be able to come back down with me. So we're going to start a brand new book. And the book is called The Carrot Seed. And it's by Ruth Krauss. Pictures by Crockett Johnson. A little boy planted a carrot seed. Oh, no. Let me remember. You will be able to retell the story at the end of the text. So pay close attention to what happened first, what happened next, and what happened last. And think about any problems or any solutions to the problem. You're right. A little boy planted a carrot seed. His mother said, I'm afraid it won't come up. There he is talking to his mother. His father said, I'm afraid it won't come up. And his big brother said, it won't come up. Every day, the little boy pulled up weeds around the seed and sprinkled the ground with water. I remember we learned that plants need water, they need air, and they need sunlight. So he's trying to give the plant everything it needs to grow. Let's see what happens. But nothing came up. Okay. So I think it's time where you could tell me what happened at the beginning of the story before we move on. Yeah, a little boy planted a seed. 
Now, what happens when he plants that seed? It's really sad. Everyone in his life tells him that they don't think it will grow. You're right. Let's keep reading. So nothing came up. And nothing came up. Everyone kept saying it wouldn't come up. So what's happening here in the beginning? What's happening in the middle of the story? Yeah, it's not coming up. He's taking care of it, but it's not growing. Let's see what happens at the end of our story. But he still pulled up the weeds around it every day and sprinkled the ground with water. And then one day, a carrot came up. Now, what happened at the end of our story? Yeah, if you said a carrot came up, it grew, you are absolutely right. Now, today, we read a text. We stopped to think, hmm, what happened at the beginning? What happened in the middle? And what happened in the end? Now, you could do the same thing at home with books around you, or even the books that you're reading at Rask Kids. 